My first ever TWS on my channel is the Edifier TWS1 and time flew by so quickly and now that review is over 1 years old. Run free and dive into the sky Hear the wind crying out its prayer Why are we so ashamed to be alive? Break the chains and our freedom the original TWS-1 is by no means a perfect earbuds, but Edifier has since listened to their customers and made an update. Today we're taking a look at a pro version of the TWS-1 and to see if these earbuds are any good. Welcome to a review of the Edifier TWS-1 Pro. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of hack reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. With that said, let's get on with a review of the Edifier TWS-1 Pro. Today's TWS-1 Pro was sent over to me by Edifier Malaysia and although they have sent me these earbuds, I will still be providing my honest opinion so you know what you're getting into before buying these earbuds. These earbuds retails for about 199 Malaysia Ringgit and that translates to about roughly US 50. Slightly more expensive than the original TWS-1 but this new model comes with all the modern features that you really want. So if you're interested in buying these earbuds, do check out my links in the description below and it will definitely help out the channel a lot. If you want to check out my original cringy TWS-1 review, I'll link it up here. The TWS-1 was my original TWS and has a special place in my heart. It was the earbud that still accompanied me to airports back then and to many different places before the pandemic hit. So coming back to my roots is pretty special. The TWS-1 Pro is a literal update of the TWS-1 and dimension-wise everything is the same as the original but some notable changes is the colour which is now matte rather than the glossy finish of the original that kind of scratches super easily. So speaking of the case scratching, you can actually use all of the different cases available for the original TWS-1 and it will still fit this new TWS-1 Pro. Edifier also sent me one of their silicone case here. So here I have the red color one, but they have a whole host of different colors that you can choose from. So if you're interested in getting this case, I'll also link them in the description below. So the color that I have here is the deep gray and they also have another one which is ivory white. The gray is a little lighter than what you see from pictures and at the top of the lid you get the Edifier logo in their signature gold colour and I think it's really nice if the case is a little bit darker. So this time round it's like Edifier has taken all the issues and complaints with the TWS-1 and addressed every single one of it. So starting from the port if you flip the case to the back you will get the new Type-C charging port rather than a micro USB that came with the first one. However there is still no wireless charging on this one but that's a small matter. At the front of the case you still get the same LED indicator which blinks a couple of times to tell you the battery life of the case. So 3 blinks means 80 to 100%, 2 blink means 50 to 80%, and 1 blink means 20 to 50%. And if you have less than 20% of battery life, it will blink 3 times really fast. The lid opening action is also very smooth and Edifier also puts in a proper hinge that holds the lid up very nicely, uh, unlike the original case which is loose and it will slam shut when you open the lid. And inside of the case, you get the earbuds now with a new design with an Edifier logo still in the middle and a gold ring around the sides. And I kind of like the cleaner design of the original TWS-1, but I guess this is a more modern design. The earbuds are very similar in size to the original with pretty much the same design and there are no in-ear sensors on these earbuds still, but hopefully the next version of these earbuds would have that. And lastly, the LED indicator of the earbuds is at the bottom of the earbuds, very subtle and not intrusive, and you still don't get to tell the amount of battery percentage you get in your earbuds, and the indicator will only tell you if it's charging or if it's full. Another big improvement on these earbuds is the battery life. The original TWS-1 already had an impressive battery life and now the Pro ups the NT and gives it a 12 hours of continuous playback time and the case gives you almost 2 days of battery life at 42 hours in total. So this is also thanks to that low consumption Qualcomm 5.2 chipset. The earbuds also now sports a super fast charging case that charges the earbuds from empty in 40 minutes and that gives you a 12 hours of battery life so that's very impressive. So the TWS-1 Pro now 
now comes equipped with flagship Qualcomm 3040 Bluetooth 5.2 chipset similar to what you get in the Soundpeats H1 which gives you support for aptX Adaptive, aptX, AAC and SBC audio codec. So this earbud should be pretty future proof. Not only that, Edifier also throws in an impressive IP65 rating where they added dust protection but the water resistant rating is still the same as the original version. At IP65, you can use this in a gym, you can go runs in the rain and if you accidentally drop it into a puddle of water, it should not be a problem for these earbuds. The earbuds also comes with a super seamless mono and stereo mode and it allows you to use either side independently and you can swap it in and out left and right and it will still play flawlessly. So this is thanks to the Qualcomm True Wireless mirroring technology. Lastly, there is no multi-point connectivity on these earbuds so you can still connect them to multiple devices, just not at the same time. So the sound quality of the TWS One Pro is also much improved from the original model and thanks to the aptX adaptive and a truly impressive titanium diaphragm where the original only came with the neodymium driver. Edifier claims improved bass on these earbuds and they're pretty accurate with that where the original TWS One actually sounds very flat and the TWS One Pro is a pretty dynamic sounding earbud. I think the bass is pretty good but could still go a little stronger if you ask me and it lacks a little bit of that sub bass. But for US 50 earbuds, I think these are really quite good. These earbuds also sound really crisp with good control generally in the mids and highs, vocals, everything stands out in the music. So it has a really nice and beautiful sounding signature. I honestly think that this is an improvement to the original earbuds and kudos to Edifier for making this revision and listening to their customers. Call quality wise, I think this is pretty similar to the original earbuds and for most earbuds that comes with the Qualcomm CVC 8.0 technology, calls are clear and quiet and noisy environments and although it doesn't suppress 100% of the background noise, it still lets your voice through nice and clearly. Anyway, let's take a listen to the call quality test of these earbuds. So this is a test to see if the Edifier TWS One Pro is a good earbud for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So latency on these earbuds are superb, so watching videos on YouTube and Netflix is generally really good and even for gaming. And thanks to the AppTap Seductive, gaming on these are almost lag-free and audio seems to be almost instantaneous. Anyway, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So this is a test to see whether or not these earphones actually have a latency problem. So what I'm going to do now is clap into the microphone and you should be able to tell. So here we go. And if you see the hands not synchronized with the sound, then you will know that these earphones actually have a latency problem. So another thing that I think that Edifier also improved on is their control scheme and I think every company should be like Edifier and listen to their customers and make their relevant updates. So Edifier earbuds always have a pretty rudimentary control schemes but I think this earbuds actually changed that. To play or pause media or pick up phone calls, tap once on either side of the earbuds so it will play or pause your media or pick up phone calls. But I realized one thing that if you pause media from your earbuds, it pauses properly but it doesn't play again if you tap once. So I think that's one of the quirks that they might need to fix. But to skip tracks forward, tap twice on the right earbuds and to skip backwards, tap twice on the left earbuds and it will skip backwards. And to increase the volume, tap and hold on the right earbuds and it will slowly increase your volume. So you can see the volume bar slowly going up and to reduce the volume, you can just tap and hold on the left earbuds and it will reduce the volume. And lastly, there are still no assistant features on this, but at least you're getting most of the controls that you need from your earbuds itself. But I really hope that this is an isolated issue with the player pause because I can never play my music again if I tap once. So that's basically all the controls you get with the Edifier TWS One Pro. So if you're thinking of getting an entry-level TWS that is good and works flawlessly but you don't want to go so low and get one of those budget ones, I think you don't need to look further and if you want to check out my other Edifier reviews, I'll put a playlist up here so you can check them out. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.